Spyware and tainted search results are producing many, many infected computers, especially still with Windows XP. I do have to admit that Vista and Windows 7 have a little bit better security built in than Windows XP does, but they're all vulnerable. And if you are using any version of Windows, I'm going to start as of today recommending that you download and install a product called Malware Bytes. So start at my website, helpmerick.com, so that you get the right link. Because if you search for Malware Bytes in a search engine and you're already infected, it's not going to take you where you want to be. So on my links page, after you click links, scroll down to the security section, and here's Malware Bytes. And when you click Malware Bytes, it'll take you to this site. If you don't see this site, you're already at the wrong website and your computer has been infected and is rerouting things around legitimate software. So if you don't see this particular website with these icons, you are at the wrong site. Seek immediate help. But if you are here, you're going to click download the free version and then it's going to bring you unfortunately to the now really polluted download.com where you're going to see on too many advertisements and you're gonna see recommended downloads here recommended downloads here but these are ads avoid the ads you want here right in the middle where it says download now malware bytes click it one time and then you're gonna get a lot more ads and if you have a particularly slow computer you're gonna be very tempted to click this download or this download down here avoid all those just remain calm and you eventually will get an option to either run or save the malware bytes and it has this name here MBAM setup if you don't see that again you're downloading the wrong thing start over so make sure you get to that we're gonna save the file if you're using Firefox as I am it's gonna to go to your downloads folder so we're gonna go out and find the downloads folder or you can double click on it right there in Firefox. So in Windows, go to your My Documents folder. And in your My Documents folder, you will find a Downloads folder. Once you get your Downloads folder open, you're going to look for that same file that we saw being downloaded, MBAM, Malware Bytes Setup. And then you're going to double click on it. And if you get a security warning, go ahead and click Run as long as it says, again, MBAM, Malware Bytes. You may get another security warning. Just click Yes. Then it's going to ask you to select your setup language. If you're English, click OK. And at this point, you're going to see the Malware Bytes logo again. If you do not see this at this point, you've downloaded the wrong item. Click Cancel and Start Over. If you do see malware bytes, anti malware, and it all looks just like this, go ahead and click next. Accept the agreement, click next, click next, click next, click next again, click next again, click install, wait for the installation to finish, and leave these checkboxes checked and click finish. Once the automatic update occurs, click OK and now the malware bytes program will begin and here's the big difference between the paid version and the free version if you pay for the version you can perform really quick scans they call flash scans it will also scan on a schedule and it'll update on its own if you have a lot of problems with spyware because of the use of your computer by maybe young teenagers or young folks who are going to sites that they're not being real careful about it may be worth paying for the product if you're doing this just for prevention and making sure your system is clean, go ahead and run the free version and all you have to do is once a month get in here, click on update, check for updates. We've just updated it so there is no new version. Then you're going to come back to scanner and then you can perform either the quick or the full scan. Again, the flash scan is just for paid users only. So we're going to click perform a quick scan. The quick scan can take anywhere from two minutes up to eight or ten minutes depending on your computer. It's a good idea to run something like CCleaner or even the Windows Disk Cleaner if you don't have CCleaner on your system prior to running this. Since I don't have any infected objects, I'm going to show you a screenshot of what it would look like if you were to click View Results. You would have a screen that looks something like this. 
you would have a bunch of different items shown that it found they would all have check boxes and you would click the button that says remove selected and it would say are you sure and you would say yes or okay and let it do its thing and in some cases you may have to reboot the computer when that is through so that's how to download update and use this program called malware bytes a very effective tool in helping keep your computer clean and clean your computer up if you happen to get some malware or adware